Hi, welcome back to TK2.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Do you ever want to serve the web, neither outdoor in your backyard or downstairs in your basement, and you find that the reception is not very good? And the reason for that is that most likely your router having Wi-Fi is weak, so it cannot reach downstairs in the basement or outside. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is to get one of these. This is called the Wi-Fi range extender okay this one is a high power one how do you know it will say uh, how many milliwatts there is this this is uh, 600 milliwatts you should look for that because that tells you at least you have a comparison how much uh, uh, power is outputting uh, for the uh, device so according to this device this is a um, MP wireless and according to their spec they are saying that it pulls up about 600 milliwatts of power, Wi-Fi power, compared to the standard Wi-Fi device which is about 50 milliwatts. That's good to know. That's why it's able to reach out further. And then uh, if you look at the um, power of antennas, it's a uh, 2 dec decibel for this one and then normally in a standard Wi-Fi it is um, less than that, less than 1 uh, decibel. Okay, And then of course what does that translate to? That translates to up to uh, 6,500 square feet that you can reach for this uh, device. In a standard Wi-Fi device, it's about 1,500 square feet. So if you have, um, you know, two deck of floor, you know, upper floor and even higher, and then you have a basement, there's no way your standard um, uh, Wi-Fi uh, router should be able to reach that. Unless, of course, it is it's say specifically that it's meant for um, high power, it can reach uh, pretty much at least uh, over 6,000 or more square feet. Okay, if not, you need to get uh, this. Now, not all Wi Fi range extender is the same. I got um, Netgear, uh, what was it, WN2000RPT, which was on sale for 28 bucks. And what am happening was I, I took, it took me about three hours just trying to get it to work, and it didn't work, I had to return it. So I had to trade it in for this. Okay, this is a little more pricey, but you know what? It's worth it. I'll show you the device right now, what it looks like. Um, the setup is quite easy. I just have to follow the step-by-step -step, um, guide. Now, what you have to look for also is how easy this device can be installed. It took me about, um, about five, ten minutes to install this. I had a little bit of problem because um, of the software. Mainly it's the software, it's not the hardware, right? Truck compatibility. And so the, I think the reason was that you have to put it somewhere um, as it recommend that the signal has to be 70%. Okay, so um, recommended um, from the main uh, Wi-Fi. So the reason how this thing works is that it takes the um, main Wi-Fi uh, uh, internet, right, and it amplify that. So it has to have a very strong already have a very strong uh, Wi-Fi signal from the main uh, router. So that has to be placed, and in, in, in the software, we'll say it's 70% or 65%. So mine reached about 70, I think, seven, between 65 to 75, I think, somewhere between there. So it was about 70. So I said, okay, that's a good place to hook up my uh, Wi-Fi extender. And that's what I did. I'll show you now where I put it. Okay, it's between my upstairs and my basement because, you know, you want to reach upstairs and you want to reach on the basement. The basement is the most important because that's where I can get the signal. Okay, so you can see here the uh, Wi-Fi extender is connected between my um, main floor and basement. Okay, so this is pretty good. You have to make sure that the intensity of that Wi-Fi signal, original Wi-Fi signal, is at least 65 to 70. Okay, they recommend it 70, so I set it around that period of time. Okay, you don't want to put it too low because the sig signal goes too weak. You want to, you don't want to go too close to the home router. The point is, of course, to extend it, right? So um, the, fur the closer to the um, original router, you get strong signal, but then, again, the point of it is to have it downstairs, so it'll be weaker in downstairs. So you have to, you know, try it out somewhere in between. That's, I think that's the most important return uh, for installing the um, Wi-Fi extender to make sure that you put it in the right place. Okay, so you can see here, this is my original home signal. It sometimes goes one bar and sometimes no bar at all. That's what's happening in my basement. I can't get it to work. And then there, this is the extender. Notice, um, there. You can name whatever you want, but I name it 
the same, almost the same as my home uh, wi Wi-Fi, but except with uh, EXT or RE, meaning range extender, okay, or extender. So this is the one. Notice one bar versus two bar. It's always here. It's always two bar. Whereas this one, it goes from zero to one bar. So let's try that because this is going to be more stable. Okay. So connect. Okay. So now it's working. So now my extender, which amplified my original signal, this one here, should work. So you know now the original signal goes back to two. So how it just varies, right? It's very unpredictable. So when you're watching, like for example, YouTube or Netflix you get a drop and then all of a sudden you you know you're waiting 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 so you don't want that to happen you want it to be consistent of signal so the uh, extender does that even though it's still weak right okay so it works the internet does work and downstairs it wouldn't otherwise work if I didn't have the extender but let's see if um, I just find it a bit slow in the afternoon and I don't think it's because of the extender I think it has to do with my internet in general um, oops let's see to navigate here. Um, so it works pretty well. There we go. Here's my um, YouTube videos. It's been a long time since yeah, I've been it in works school. Really well. But I still like to learn. Sort of there we go. So there we go. It works. Hi, welcome back to My name is Okay, Cable. so Today the signal's pretty good. Not always reliable. Happen. Uh, let's try uh, let's try news here um, pull up my keyboard and try Fox News okay and close the keyboard there we go okay so it's pretty fast um, at times when the, the original signal is weak, then it affects the uh, extender as well. But if the the um, the original signal is relatively strong, but not strong enough to go down to the basement, then the extender will extend amplify that signal and will give this uh, pretty... Uh, let's try the video here. See how fast it loads. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. See how long it takes. Again, you know, depend on how fast your internet is. I find that in the afternoon it's quite slow. There we go. It's working. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, Netflix on my uh, uh, projector through my Blu-ray Wi-Fi player. It has Netflix built in there, and I hooked up to my um, HDMI and the projector projected onto the screen here. Okay, let's see how good it is. Um, let's see what what should what movie should I watch? Let's see. Let's try Hostage, Bruce Willis, and see it plays. Okay, play. Okay, as you can see, it's going. Before I had a problem. Um, I wasn't able to get signal downstairs I mean sometime I do sometime most of the time I don't but I've noticed that when I put my ex extender especially during the night because the not many people use the internet at night but uh, during morning and night the, the, the signal is really strong the main signal the Wi-Fi signal um, afternoon wise it's not as it's, and it's not the extended ex, uh, Wi-Fi extended problem it's actually the uh, original Wi-Fi signal which was weak and very slow Okay, so now I can actually watch the um, the movie downstairs in my basement, Netflix. Okay, through my uh, Blu-ray Wi-Fi, and that's because I was able to extend the signal to this uh, to this uh, Wi-Fi. Pretty good. Cool. EducateTube.com. Now I can watch Wi-Fi. Oh, Netflix downstairs.